jump forward when it was mm-hmm. appropriate, when when I actually had my, I don't know what kind of language I can use on this, <laughs> when I actually had my shit together. Okay, yeah, you know? you're, you're fine to use that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, that's the point where you where you step to the front mm-hmm. and you present what you're doing. And if it doesn't work, you step back and you keep and working. Exactly. And, then, and then the next time you reach a goal, you step forward. Mm-hmm. Um, my freshman year of college, I, I went to school for vocal performance. Mm-hmm. And um, I pretty much kept my head down my whole freshman year. Uh, mm-hmm. Worked, was working with an incredible teacher. Mm-hmm. Um, did as much as I could yeah. um, in terms of just time in the practice room Mm -hmm. um and at the end of my freshman year i auditioned for the opera Mm. um which was an annual there was an annual full-length opera and um and i hadn't been you know trying to get into every little recital i could i hadn't been trying to you know Mm. plug my name as much as i could yeah and so um, I wound up getting a lead, which was really unusual for a freshman, which is awesome. cool. Yeah. Um, but I was standing in front of the cast list mm-hmm. um, and saw my name up there. And somebody behind me, like a senior behind me, said, who the flip is Virginia <laughs> Luella? Uh, and it was like <laughs> one of those ouch moments. <laughs> well, no, no. Actually, um, it was kind of it kind of made me feel good because I was like, you know, yeah. this is what I was going for. I wanted to do my work. Mm-hmm. I wanted to learn as much as I could. Yeah. Um, I didn't need lots of attention. Right. And I and I noticed that some of the k- singers who were getting lots and lots of attention, mm-hmm. they didn't do so well. Yeah. And I think it's because they they kind of lost focus mm-hmm. on again what really matters about music. And you know what, it's funny that you mentioned that because, like, you know, when I um, went to college, too, and I studied theater and musical mm-hmm. theater, I was pretty much the invisible girl, Uh huh. you know, and it got to the point to where, like, because, like, the, the prof- the, like, it was part of the reason why I, I left, you know, college and that just decided to do my own thing and everything, uh-huh. you know, it was because, you know, when, you know, like, um, for example, like, like, obviously they had their favorites. Mm-hmm. You know, and it didn't matter how well I did. It didn't matter how much I practiced, how high my grades were, you know, all that stuff. It's mm-hmm. like I always got stuck down at the bottom because, mm-hmm. you know, I, you know, I just I wasn't a favorite. And, you know, and I didn't want to be a favorite. You know, I wasn't one of those people who were going to I'm going to kiss your ass to be the lead. Yeah. You know, I, I wasn't going to do that. If I was going to do that, it was because I earned it. And, you know, and I was just like, and I just got so fed up. I was just like, okay, I'm getting sick of this, you know. Like, I'm, you know, I'm working my ass off for you and everything. And it's just, and it just got so frustrating. And then when, in my sophomore year, um, I, um, we had like a guest, um, like a guest, uh, like teacher or whatever uh-huh. to teach in my acting, acting two class. And, you know, his name's Jeff Monahan. Love him to death. He's amazing. Uh, I was worked with George Romero and uh, done all sorts of stuff. Um, but I think working with him in acting class was a real turning point for me because I realized just how back assward a lot of the college programs are. Yeah. You know, because it, it's like they, they yeah. you know, and it's just like because like they focus so much on how to do a monologue, you know, for an audition. Which not that that's not important. But what about when you get out into the real world? Business strategies, you know, how to do film and theater because the, uh, you know, school which shall remain nameless that I went to, (laughs) they just wanted to focus on theater and all that stuff. And I love theater. I still do theater to this day. But you know what? I also wanted to do film. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Jeff kind of introduced me to that. So that's when, you know, like I was just, I, I just got to the point to where like he actually planted that seed in my head saying, you know what? I can do this myself, you know, Uh basically everything that I'm learning here, I can look up and read, you know, Uh you know, and it's just like, you know, and it's like, and I'd rather take a class that's concentrated in what I want to do as opposed to taking all these other, you know, things that really have nothing to do with what I'm doing. But it's like, you know, but like you said, the people who were the favorites, the golden children, Mm -hmm. it's like. I'm doing a lot more where than they, they are. Now, yeah. You know, it's yeah. like, yeah, where are they now? Because like you said, they lose that focus because they like they think, you know, 
well, I'm celebrated here. I'm going to be celebrated when exactly. I get out into the real I world. I have arrived. <laughs> you know, I'm exactly. A, I'm a big fish in a little pond, and mm-hmm. they lose sight of how little the pond is. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I was really fortunate. I had a really great college mm-hmm. experience. That's good. Um, the program I was in, for instance, you're talking about, you know, the favorites always Yeah. Have. It was such an extensive program that, Mm -hmm. you know, if you weren't the favorite of one of the directors or one of the teachers, Mm -hmm. that's okay because somebody else was running your audition. Right. You Mm -hmm. know, there was always this constant shift of Mm -hmm. people who were in charge. And Mm so I think it wound up being a lot better balanced. But it was a big program, and it was was a school that, um, Fredonia. School of Music. Mm-hmm. Um, and Mine shall remain nameless. <laughs> yes, you know? shall remain nameless. <laughs> I'll put in a plug. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, it's, it, it was one of the few programs um, I was accepted to Oberlin, but I looked at mm-hmm. Oberlin's program and discovered they were all focused on graduate students. Yeah. And so I went to a school where the entire focus was on undergrad, mm-hmm. and consequently, the the experiences I was able to get, the, the level of training I was able to get, mm-hmm. just these really... And I appreciated the diversity of the program because, once again, it mm-hmm. exposed me to things I wouldn't have yeah. voluntarily mm-hmm. gone after on my own. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, it's uh, you're, you're not alone in your college experience. Yeah, um, and, you know, and I'm just fortunate that they had, you know, Jeff come in and, yeah, you know, yeah. basically show, tell me that, yes, there are other alternatives. Yeah. And that's exactly what I did, you know, because it was, like I said, it was just – Getting to that point to where I would be like, you know, working, you know, working and like just really like, you know, taking in what they were saying. And it would just be like the same people cast in the same, all the same people ended up being the leads. And then sometimes like I wouldn't even like, you know, get anything. I would just be on crew. And I'm like, well, this sucks. I want, I mean, not that, I mean, I love doing crew work. I love doing behind the scenes stuff. You know, I'm enjoying directing my first film and everything, but Mm -hmm. like, you know, but I'm just like, well, this sucks. Like, I, you know, I want to act. You know, this is what I'm here for, and you're mm-hmm. not giving me that. So I would actually go to, I would, you know, go, I would go to other theaters, and I'd get parts in in them. And but then, when I guess one of one of the uh, professor, the theater prof- found out, and I got, you know, they, they they sat me down like, why are you doing this? And I go, well, I don't feel like I'm getting anything from you. And they're like well, what do you mean? And I'm like, and I was explaining to them and they're like, well, in the, in the, you're not always going to get parts and blah, blah, blah. And I go, and I'm like, and I understand that, but <laughs> you're giving them to all the same people. You're giving all these people, you I mean, you're actually giving them a false sense of, you know, of security. security. And I don't think they like me too much <laughs> after that. Yeah, I but, think I would be suspicious yeah. of any program that, that, that had a problem with you, with you getting outside experience. Yes. Mm-hmm. Because really good programs, they want you mm-hmm. to get out in the world. They exactly. want you to see what it's really like mm-hmm. out there because that's what prepares you for life, yeah. mm-hmm. not just school. Exactly. And I even had some other people come up to me and saying, you know, yeah, I heard, like, you're really good and, like, they keep screwing you over. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> well, thank you for, like, hearing I'm really good. I appreciate that. Yeah. But they're not giving me any, you know. But, yeah, but, like, but Jeff pretty much, like, you know, instilled that confidence that, you know, yeah, like if, if somebody isn't giving me what I need, I can go elsewhere and I can do research and do it myself. And I think that that's important too yeah. Yeah. for aspiring actors, musicians, you know, writers, whatever, yeah. to know that, you know, so yeah. So awesome. Good answer. <laughs> yeah. Good conversation here. Um, so do you guys um, have any sort of advice for like you know say like a 16 year old who wants to do music or whatever um music entertainment entertainment um came up to you and said hey i want to get into this like what would you tell them (laughs) i would say uh get ready to work Mm -hmm. uh get a day job that you don't have to take home Mm -hmm. don't get a career yes Uh, I would say if you have the opportunity to go to school, go to school. Mm -hmm. Learn the business end of things. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yes, that's important. (laughs) Go to business school. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Take business courses. You know. Uh, But that's overlooked a lot. You know. Yeah, and whatever you want to do, learn everything you can about it. Mm -hmm. Uh, Doing film scores, um, 
I'm dealing with a lot of other up and coming composers, aspiring composers, and there's this this attitude among some of them that like learning music theory is yeah. detrimental. Like mm. the music is no longer real, and rather, I I can't see how knowing something about something makes it less effective. Uh, it, this willful ignorance yeah. uh, it just seems backwards <laughs> to me. And mm -hmm. if you want to play guitar, learn everything that you can about guitar. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Spend all your time reading about different kinds of guitars. Yeah. Everything you can about it. And uh, yeah, no, that's can that's what I tell someone. Can't learn, can can't learn, learn too much. much. Can't work yeah. too hard. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Uh, my advice would be essentially the same. Mm -hmm. Be a geek, you yes. know. You're not going to be popular when you start out because mm -hmm. you're going to be the dweeb in the back with your music theory textbook and yeah. your, um, you know, running scales all the time. You are not going to be the cool kid. Right. <laughs> um, if your goal is to be the cool kid, take up a sport. <laughs> yeah. Um, mm -hmm. If your if your goal is to be a musician, mm -hmm. um, do your time in the trenches. You're going to be so much better for it, and you're going to have such a so much of a deeper appreciation mm -hmm. for not only your music but other people's. Mm -hmm. You're going to have so many more tools in your arsenal. Um, mm -hmm. The exactly what he just said. You yeah. know, the more you know about anything, mm -hmm. um, the more things you can do with it. If you're brilliant and yeah. you refuse to, you know, learn anything about, you know, theory or or um, technique, mm -hmm. if you're brilliant, you're going to be reinventing the wheel. Yes, most of us are not that brilliant. Mm -hmm. We're not even going to get to the wheel. We're going to be reinventing mm -hmm. the rock. Yeah. You know, it's mm -hmm. so, so use other people's experience. Use yeah. other people's accumulated knowledge. Mm -hmm. um, I can't remember who said it about standing on the shoulders of giants. Yeah. Um, the, the greatest advances in any field are made by the people who have understood what came before them. Mm-hmm. So yes. if you want to be a musician,